After 24 years in the United States Marine Corps, Jerry Ensminger never thought his biggest battle would be against the same people he served. We and our families were poisoned by the very people that we trusted the most. That was our own leaders. And what makes it worse is we were knowingly poisoned. For 15 years, Jerry has been fighting what he calls one of the biggest military cover-ups. It went from, from negligence to gross negligence to criminal negligence. His hard work finally paid off. Congress has passed a bill to help the Marines and their families who were affected, but Ensminger calls it a bittersweet victory. The passage of this bill is confirmation by the United States Congress that says we were harmed and they were wrong. It's called the Janie Ensminger Act in memory of his nine-year-old daughter who died from leukemia. To keep this fight alive, I had to relive that constantly. Jerry ties her death directly to the toxic water. She didn't want to die yet, that she wanted to live uh, and she wanted to make a difference in the world. And um, that child uh, through her short life and through her death uh, has made more change than uh, uh, I would venture to say most people make uh, that live a full life. It's been a long battle for Ensminger. I'm quite confident uh, that had I not dug my heels in and, and stayed engaged in this, that uh, uh, this issue would have been, uh, they'd have, uh, it would be dead and buried along with our loved ones. And he says the fight isn't over yet. Now he wants accountability for those who are responsible and most of all, he just wants the truth, which he says is still being covered up. Omitting facts, obfuscating facts, telling many, many half-truths and total lies. And I want them held accountable. There are things Jerry says he doesn't like about the bill, but he says it's a step in the right direction and he couldn't have done it alone. The news media, and especially Channel 9, they kept this issue alive for me. Semper Fidelis, always faithful. It's the standard Ensminger says he's holding Marine Corps leadership to. The very people who hold the rest of the rank and file of the Marine Corps to the lofty standards of honor and integrity, they, they aren't living up to them themselves. Ensminger says this bill isn't the epilogue. It's simply the end of the first act. I've had to tell the Commandant of the Marine Corps through third party, because they'll never meet with me, that I know you're up there wondering when I'm going to give up this fight. Well, I'll tell you when I'm going to give it up. When you do what's right by our people, you live up to our motto, or when you pat me in the shovel with a face and blow taps over my dead, that's when I'm going to quit. Jonathan Rodriguez, 9, on your side.